So hi guys, oh my gosh. I've been going for a minute I'm back with the jumper. Sorry to take the back the Nah. So yes, I know I've been going. My last video was probably back in two years ago. Seven. 2015 I think I don't know yeah it was it was a long time so much things changed so much things changed why not come back with the video that everybody loves to do is they eyebrows you know everybody loves to have some eyebrows on fleet so the difference with this video is I don't have my eyebrows done I haven't got them threaded I haven't got them waxed I didn't shave them myself I didn't do none of that I didn't pluck them I didn't do nothing because I am in the process of growing my eyebrows back because my eyebrow lady jacked my shits up I know I was like really sitting there with my eyes closed leaning back yes getting my eyebrows done I said I wanted to remain thick. Just clean it up. Nothing more, nothing less. Just clean it up. And that's it. I opened my eyes. She passed me the mirror. I looked in the mirror. <gasps> Bitch, what? the 90s all right i need people to get that this ain't the 90s we don't want them thin eyebrows we want them to look thick and like we want the eyebrows to be on fleet and you know we just want the eyebrows to look natural i don't like the halo eyebrows i'm, I'm not a fan of that teachers don't do what you do ma do what you do i don't like the halo eyebrows i like my shits to look very natural i don't like the sharpie dark eyebrows that's just me i don't like it but like what i said teachers on but yeah, so she really jacked my eyebrows, so I'm in the process of actually growing them out. But as as time go on, they get really out of place, out of whack, and you still want your eyebrows to be on fleek. I show you steps on how to do that to accomplish this look. You can't you can't tell that I, I didn't have my eyebrows on. You can't tell I don't have my eyebrows on. Can you tell? Can you tell? Be honest. Could you tell that I didn't have my eyebrows on? I should never said nothing. Should you would like to see how I achieve my eyebrows to look like this? continue watching I, for, for my eyebrows i will be using the eyebrow gel the nyx eyebrow gel let's try to get that which looks like this and this is in the color espresso i've been using this for a little while and i love this and i'm the girl that that always stick to what i know which is the mac um eyebrow pencil and Stud, I believe. Yeah, stud. And I love that eyebrow pencil. But, you know, it can get a little bit expensive. So, I went to try the NYX eyebrow gel. And I must say, I really love this stuff. And what else we're going to need is some concealer. And I will be using the concealer, Pro Concealer and the Correct Palette from MAC. And this is an Odie Book Goodie. Y'all know this. This was just the Odie Book Goodie, you know. And if you could always, and if you do have um, the Studio Finish Casella, this, y'all yeah, remember this? Odie but goodie. This stuff is so um, full coverage. And if you have this, I recommend using this also. It's the same thing. So basically, you can use the palette or you can use the one in the pot. Um, I'm kind of on pan. Maybe I'll use this. I'm going to use this because, you know, my. My brows is really hairy under there, so I'm gonna use this. Um, you could you could use your pro concealer, um, the LA Girl Pro Concealer. You could use that, but it's not as full coverage as the Max um, Studio Concealer. But you can use whatever you like. Just you know, you know whatever you got. You don't have to go out and go get crazy. So we're just gonna jump into doing our brows. Okay, so. I'm just going to start off by brushing them into place. I like to brush them up. I am looking this way because I have my mirror right here. So you're just going to brush them up like so. And down. I'm going to take I'm gonna take the gel, the eyebrow gel, and I'm going to take this angle brush. And I'm just going to fill in my brow.
Doodles do go a long way. I like to start at the tip and then um, I like to blend it out in the front because this stuff can come off very um, harsh if you don't have a light hand. So you would like to keep a light hand with this stuff because this stuff is really, really pigmented and you don't want to be out here looking like you use a Sharpie, you know? Okay, so now we're going to take a spoolie and we're just going to brush all of that out, all the product out so it can come out. And then when you brush it, you're going to take some of it to the front because you know we didn't put that much, but there's a lot of product to the front. So we're just going to brush that out and then we're just going to brush it up to the front. And then if you need to add more, just add more. Okay, so now I'm going to take the my concealer, um, NW45 Studio Finish Concealer. Remember, this is an oldie but goodie. So we're just going to take the concealer and we're going to outline our eyebrows. If you need to lift up your eyebrows to exactly know where your arch, where you would like your arch to be, you can do that too. You see how as soon as you lift up the right here, just lift it up and then you can do that also. Okay, so I like to take a uh, foundation, that's my color, and I'm going to get the, my foundation naked, Urban Decay Naked, and this is in the color 11.0 shade. So I'm just going to put a little bit, a little bit, on like, not even a full pump, just like about a down size, you can see that. And then I'm just going to conceal the, the top of my brows. I don't like the halo brow, so I like to always get... You can use the same brush. It's really not going to make a difference. You're going to be really light-handed. And you're going to... Fluffy brush, fluffy, 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 fluffy. We're gonna fluffy brush and we're gonna blend the shit out of this. Okay, we're gonna blend, honey. Blend, blend, blend. Mm. We getting it though. We didn't try the Taco Bell um strawberry. Sweet, it's so good. Mm. The top is easy to blend. See, we coming on, we coming on. Just wanna keep blending, wanna keep blending that eye out. You take my finger and do like an extra blend just to make sure. Blending is key when it comes to makeup. I just want everybody to know that. Hey, you dry skin girls know that this what I talked about earlier, this facial water is so good for dry skin. Like I love this stuff. I just spray it all over my face before I do my makeup. Woo, like so. And I'm gonna come back to y'all with a finished look. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. And as you can see, so this is the finished look of my eyebrows. And all I did was just um, add some concealer to my face and powder. That's it. So good tips, 
when your eyebrow lady just 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 do some damage to your eyebrows. If you have any comments or anything that you would like for me to talk about, leave it in the um, comments down below. But one thing that I will definitely be doing a lot of, I will be vlogging a lot. I am actually getting a vlogging camera because this my Canon is way too big for me to carry. But as for right now, I, I do have a vlog that's up right now. I'll leave that in the description box down below also. Um, I use my iPhone for that. I don't like the quality of it. So that's why I've been really working on trying to get a new camera. And I should be ordering one today actually. I've been doing a lot of research on these cameras. So yeah, so look out for those. I will definitely be doing vlogging. Because I like to vlog. I don't know. Because I'm, I'm a little fun. I'm fun. Y'all just don't even know how my life be every day. My life is fun. Bye guys.